So, I saw something on Twitter that had me thinking, and I, I kind of want to make a video on it. Uh, so, shout out to Locked On Sports creator uh, Aaron Freeman. So, he and Scott Karasuk were speaking about this. And almost immediately, I said to myself, you got to be out of your fucking mind. Like, you obviously looking for uh, some controversy. Like, this, 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 this is obviously a, a clout-chasing tweet. Um, and I'll kind of show it to you. Uh, so you guys can see it for yourself but yeah he's out of his damn mind if he if he actually truly believed this well he went on to state that Tack McKinley wasn't a bad pick with the first pick it was a it was a bad pick I mean it was bad um, he was graded a second and third round pick uh, from the beginning and I said to myself and you know after thoroughly doing my research on Tack I said to myself, like, yeah, this guy wasn't meant to be a first-round pick. I mean, from the first time when he was drafted, I mean, he, he, he made a scene. You know, at, at the moment, it seems like a great thing. But the more that you look back at it, and this is all hindsight, that he, he was just very immature from the beginning. I don't think the Falcons did their homework when it came down to his off-field issues. Um, I know for a fact through Scott Pioli, they do kind of like psychological um, and uh, psychological tests as well. And looking back, I, I just don't think the Falcons really did their homework. I thought they just thought they had a football guy, that he was a classic Dan Quinn guy, um, and he was just a speed rusher. And you look at not only that, the psychological test, you look at the, um, the athletic ability. Obviously, he had athletic ability, and then you turn around, you know, you look at his injuries in itself. Dude was just, he, he was just the wrong pick. Let's just keep it real. He's the wrong pick. And um, I want to know what you guys think about this. Was Tack McKinley the right pick for the Atlanta Falcons? in that draft i say absolutely the falcons made a huge mistake with tack mckinley he wasn't the best guy um he wasn't the best prospect i think um watt was a obviously a better pick even when you look at his, his athletics um he's not much um tack is not that much bigger than uh, wide and then you look at the skill sets I, I, they're pretty much identical with less injuries and like I said I just think he just lost his damn mind if he really believed that Tack McKinley wasn't a bad pick it just it was so many question marks surrounding Tack McKinley with that particular draft and I, I just think he's I, I think Eric is just clout chasing I just want to let you know what you guys think about this the, the link to the tweet will be in the description of this video um i'm going to continue to post videos like this through the course of you know this month and gonna keep going but yeah I, I think he's out of his damn mind if you if you will say with a straight face that tack mckinley wasn't the right pick was the right pick the line falcons or it wasn't a bad pick i like it was just a bad pick i, I mean you already had a guy like vic bigley um who was a speed rusher himself, but you got tacked. It was just so many signs there uh, when it came down to, like I said, just now, that hindsight, and then what I know for sure was how scouts go about, you know, uh, evaluating guys. You got psychological tests, you got physical tests, and obviously you got the skill test. And I, I don't think you know, two of the three, I don't think the Falcons did their homework in it. And obviously, we see that now. Tack can't stay healthy. He's had issues with his mentality. Um, whether he has issues, uh, um, 
um, diagnosed issues, I don't know, but we clearly something, something ain't right with him upstairs. That's all I say. So again, let me know what you guys think about this, man. Did the Atlanta Falcons really do their homework when it comes down to Tack McC